for? What am I? Berries? Berries. We're going out, we're going to pick some berries. Raspberries off the bush kind of thing. That's a lot of berries. Giovanni Yogurt doesn't need this many berries. A lot of berries, right? What could it be? Fruit. General fruit. Apple picking. Too, a little too small for apple picking. But it's probably a fruit. Alright? Dates. Nuts. I'm a nutritionist now, did I tell you? I told you that I told you about my personal trainer. She's stealing my money. That rat. Okay? The nutritionist. You have to eat this many carbs and this many proteins, this many this, and have a fat and do this and drink a hundred ounces of water. I don't know, float away. Alright? Oh. You think it's what? I thought it was unusual. You think it's unusual, so that makes it better? Let me make it something, let me give you a comparison. I'm going to sell you something, let's say, hypothetically, from <coughs> Tiffany and Company, versus I'm going to sell you something rare, unusual, that no one else has seen. Which are you buying? You're buying the brand name Tiffany, or you're buying the rare, unusual, uh, no one's seen? Guess what? You're buying Tiffany, people, and if you're not, you're stupid. <laughs> right? Here's why. Not that you're stupid, because you're not. But here's why. We always think it's rare, it's unusual. If it's rare and unusual, fewer people are interested in it because they don't know if it's high quality. When I say Tiffany, you all go, it's Tiffany, right? <coughs> like Kleenex, brand names. That's what you want. This is a Native American basket. It dates to about the 1930s. It's made by the Pima people. The Pima people are in New Mexico and Arizona. It, no, I know that because of the way it's made and also this pattern, it's called the pictorial basket. This is the reproduction. They would not have had this at that time. So somebody added that on. My sister Carla, for example, or someone else who likes to do basket weaving. Value on your basket, about $400. You got it for 20, which means the auctioneer didn't do his job to find out what the heck he had to sell it for top dollar for the family who's paying him a percentage to sell this piece. That's what you gotta think about. Right? That doesn't mean that you know they're all bad. It means this is a costly mistake for someone. You got a nice piece. Thanks. 